going to uh, burn burn CDs. Went to a uh, musical performance. Ensemble. That'll be the backing track. It was a uh, very good. The bassist resembled uh, like a demon. The faces. At one point, I couldn't stop laughing because of the faces that were being made. They were dressed up with. Uh, like in a red suit with horns or something. I think it would be spectacular. It's like, it'd be a good <laughs> character. Okay. <clears throat> Let's start. So, the key with uh, burning CDs, you need CDs. Yes. You also need a computer. Macintosh as opposed to my standard uh, Linux. Why? I don't really know. But it's just better that way. More reliable. But the problem with TV drive doesn't really work. Uh, <clears throat> a while ago, making CDs with Charles. Charles. Charlie. Scotch BX. Archive.org. Sony Deck. S-O-N-Y-D-E-C-K No space Sony Deck Archive.org Wonderful uh, DVD Transfers ISOs Found from the dump of Carlisle A wonderful service to the public Performed by Charles Additionally an additional service, we uh, <clears throat> made a bunch of CDs, and well, he'd go about it, as he had his computer with a CD drive, you know, an optical disk drive, um, sort of proper, uh, <clears throat> older PC. And he'd get them burned uh, every time. In the end, we just used that. And it was uh, not one-to-one. -one. Like, as far as burn speed, it took something like uh, 15 minutes per CD. 10, 15 minutes per CD. So I did it very slowly. Burning the, uh, <coughs> the disc image. So it was, I had one that I set up by the normal method. He copied the disk image and then just burned it onto the CD. I tried it with the computer over there. And what I discovered, what we both discovered was uh, 
maybe one in every seven disc or attempt at burning a CD would actually work. Then it would fail for whatever reason. <clears throat> Sometimes things are written to the disc, usually they weren't. And it had nothing, at first I thought it was the CDs themselves, maybe there was an issue. <clears throat> that it's not wasn't the discs because we switch mix and match using from using discs from the same pool it had to do with the drive <clears throat> the disc drive with older computers like that you know today computers don't really have disc drives <clears throat> you know it's like an obsolete technology it's like the tapes when you do have a computer with a disk drive, unless you use it regularly, like with this one, Charles found it at the dump, <clears throat> and it works fine. When you try to burn CDs, it doesn't work. One in every seven will work. Came to the conclusion or realization the reason why it doesn't work is just from sitting. It uh, collects dust. It's one part of it, but also things like moisture. Um, sometimes if you get older electronic equipment, you can see that there's build up. You'll see like little salt build up on the motherboards. Um, <clears throat> the components over time can just get damaged like that. It's probably from 2008 or so, that computer, so it's old. It's, you know, about 15 years old. It's an older computer. Like I said, the CDs themselves are sort of obsolete. Um, point is, the disk burning process didn't work because there's an issue with the actual drive. And I've come across that a lot. Um, for pretty much every laptop, PC, Mac, doesn't really matter. Um, there's always some kind of issue with the drive doesn't open, doesn't close, doesn't read, doesn't write, skips, there's always something. Sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. They're very finicky, the disk drives. So, the solution is just to use like a, an external disk drive, a proprietary disk drive. Uh, <clears throat> Things like this, the drivers are usually very simple. So I, I've used one of these. This is just an LG. I had another one, a white one. And I was like, where the fuck is it? Where is it? Because I hadn't used it. I looked everywhere, couldn't find it. Finally, I bought this one. Just like $25, which is like, jeez, you know, if I could just find the other one, it's so wasteful. Of course, I splurge to buy this one, and uh, I get home that night, and I'm looking around for stuff and other stuff, and sure enough, I find a disk drive, the other one. So now I have t two, which is good. But... Simple and just plug it in. That's it. Just has the USB standard. Standard is USB.
them. Um, I still haven't figured out what I'm going to put on them, but I'm going to do a very simple one. <laughs> okay. So. I'm going to do a collection of, called cards. Which is uh, 17 tracks. I wrote it specifically for uh, a hassle compilation that doesn't appear to be going on anymore. I don't know. I haven't had any kind of update about it. I made a bunch of tapes as well. Actually, pretty good. I listen to, uh, I don't know, I've been active traveling here, there, and everywhere. And, uh, Basically, I listened to it yesterday, a CD yesterday, and I was like, oh, this would be a good, uh, good selection. It's 44 minutes. Perfect. 20, 20 tracks, 44 minutes. Okay. So... <clears throat> some kind of program, some basic program to actually, uh, kind of audio, media, player, um, something that deals with media files. It can be, I mean, there are so many different forms. Just anything that can burn files to a CD. And you open that, get the files you want and organize them as you would have them on the CD. Then you just go in the settings and burn it. It's very, it's really not that difficult, except to do it, want to do it. <coughs> With, but this is uh, iTunes, so it,
that's ultimately all you want to see. It's good. Um, you can go to like OK and do all that stuff, but we already have this program set up to do the burning, so we don't need to use any other stuff in the operating system. See the uh, little selector, little wheels. Go ahead. Burn playlist to disk. Got a bunch of stuff. The preferred speed. See, see it has uh, 2x right there. Um, that was from burning with uh, Charles. Very slow. This one I'll try, I don't know, 8x. Why not? It's a new drive, maybe it'll work. I had to go in and uh, <clears throat> switch disk drives. The one that I was using was uh, the internal disk. I think. I think. So come across all kinds of little problems. It's a lie. figured out. Hopefully it is. We shall see. It says it's raining. Performance at uh, in square lily pad as a jazz ensemble. It's good. Before that, I went to the jungle in Union Square. But there's a concert and uh, sold out. I asked if I could just go in because there was an open mic the night before. I wasn't able to make it in time. The guy's like, we can't do it. There's a free place over there. Warehouse 11. Where they had a hip-hop cipher. Which is very quality. It's a quality experience. And 
a surprise, which made it better. <clears throat> and then I went to the jazz performance. I didn't know. I thought it would be a different jazz performance. I was wrong. Um, I realized it was like 11.45, so I had to try to move quickly so I didn't miss the train. Got to Union, Union Square train station platform. Duh. <clears throat> Waited for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. The train did come. I said, uh, it's about two minutes left. That's quick. Good. Uh, <clears throat> the, uh, I got on the train, got a good seat. It's the last stop, first, you know, point of departure. Um, so I was on the train, the conductor was like, uh, it's going to Riverside. I was like, oh shit, that's the wrong direction. <laughs> so I was like, oh fuck it probably get off the train and I can't really go the wrong direction. It's late. So I enjoyed the jazz music too much. I was just sitting there for an hour and a half. It's like I jumped off the train, left my uh And it almost got caught in the doors. Thankfully nothing fell out or anything. But it got caught in the door as I was leaving. I was like, oh God, like a moron. So I walk off and I'm like, oh shit, I'm not, you know, I still might miss the train. So I sat down on the bench and uh, as I was getting off, I noticed a person was like walking down the platform. I was like, oh, poor fool, they missed the train. Bad luck uh, club here. <clears throat> so I was just sitting down on the bench and a uh, person walks up behind me. I hear them and then I go, <laughs> and they uh, hit me in the head with a bag, like a really heavy bag. <laughs> Sort of like this, but about this size, but heavier. Left my ears ringing, like, mm. you know, like what the fuck? You know, like what the fuck? Why'd you do that? And he just like walks off, like crouches, <laughs> tortured, tortured artist. <laughs> the guy that did it, not me. drawing a lot of smiley faces recently, so. I don't know. I'm making banging mixtapes like this, so I can't really say I'm that tortured, you know. But then, the most fucked up thing is the, you know, the next train does arrive, and, uh, at first I'm like, I don't know if, I feel like I probably missed the train, I just got attacked, the person's like, somewhere lurking, I'm like, maybe it's just... Use one of those newfangled apps and get a ride or something. But then I see the train. And, uh, <laughs> I'm 
then I see that the next train is coming. Pretty shitty thing to do, you know. Like, never saw the person. Wasn't doing anything. It was weird. The whole thing. <clears throat> Some weird divine retribution for something. Perceived transgression. But not again. It's just me. I must have done something. Some horrible karma. At the same time, I don't mind. I thought it was funny. Was also scary because you see the train go away, I'm standing, processing things. I'm not gonna fight. I'm away, I see that another train comes. I'm like, oh. I'll get up this train then. So I wait, pulls up next to me, but the doors don't open conductor goes all the way to the other side, which is where the man is crouched. So I'm like, oh shit. And sure enough, there's only one car open in the front. And so the guy gets on that. And I'm like, oh my god. So we're both in the same car, you know. And, uh, <clears throat> Just idles there for like 10 minutes of death. A certain point. Goes and then like stops. See, so like killed the conductor, it's like serial killer thing. Train ended up going. See, like I draw smiley faces. Mm. I've always thought to myself, these are uh, these are very punchable faces. You know, person has a punchable face. I I have a very punchable face. So I spent a long time on public transit and things. People always attack me verbally. Not so much public transit. And it's always the right side of the face too. I don't know what the what the deal is with that. Very weird. <clears throat>
things like that. <clears throat> things like that do make me paranoid, though. A little bit. It's like, why would that happen? Because it does happen to me. Not all the time. It's pretty rare. You know, because, like, I don't... But at the same time, like, I was distributing tapes, uh, like, last Thursday, Friday. First time since March 2017. And it was in, uh, Harvard Square, Armageddon Shop. January or closed. Not only in Harvard Square shortly after that. But, uh, in Alston, too, which was the one that I first went to. But, anyway, I went to Armageddon Shop to distribute tapes. The first time since March 2017. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's like a good thing. Like, I bought a book. I got a bunch of, uh, little, uh, free posters, pamphlets, and magazines and things. And I bought a book. Gave a tape to person working there, signed it to Armageddon Shop, and uh, I left. I walked up the stairs, came onto the street, and uh, you know, they recommend you wear a mask, so I was taking my mask off, and I made eye contact with this person. I don't know what it was, they seemed to say something to me. They made eye contact and then said something, you know. You can tell when someone's kind of talking to you. It's like a, he walked by. <clears throat> I said, it's like, what? Did you say something? I didn't hear you. Did you say something? Which, <laughs> you say, <laughs> you know, did you say something? And, uh, he, like, turned around and was, really aggressive. It's like, you know, like, back up, man. I'll literally rape you. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, what? <clears throat> I'll literally rape you, this person said. Not necessarily a good uh, incentive to distribute music. That's what happens, but it didn't get me down. I mean, it did. It was depressing, but not for the ultimate purpose of distributing music. And, you know, like I went out and traveled into performances and things and had. That's like weak. Frequently in the past week. Everything went fine. There was no issues. The whole I'll literally rape you thing, that was a bit extreme. But as far as the performances and traveling, no issues. So tonight to be sitting on the train platform and for someone to hit me in the head with the back around midnight, that was a bit extreme. But even so, it didn't get me down. I can continued with my smiley faces, <laughs> my punchable face, <laughs> maybe that's the problem, maybe I should start wearing a scowl, and then people won't want to punch me, Just be angry like them, I really wanted to like go up to, because you know, like I said, we were trapped on the uh, train together for about a half hour, about 30 feet apart. I really just wanted to go up and say, like, hey, man, hey, mom, uh, why did you hit me on the head with your back? Like, that was like, super fucking rude, man. But, if there's, you know, a lunatic just going around hitting people, I don't, you know, who knows? I don't, don't want to, I don't need that shit. Again, it's one, it is one of those things, though, where it does make me slightly paranoid. 
start thinking, why? Perhaps I did something. Maybe this person uh, works for the city in some way. This is a targeted attack. Like I said, it makes me paranoid. Does this happen to other people? It doesn't really bother me either way. I mean, like if I get stabbed, because that's the other thing too, like this person could have just like stabbed me in my neck, could have shot me in the head. That's a bit extreme. CDs in since starting this. It's good. I don't know. We could do it faster, I guess. I think eight. I think eight's good. That's a reasonable time. It's not that long. It gives me a period to do a story time. This classy sticker. It's like, what's the purpose behind it? You know, like, wouldn't the goal be to, like, knock me out to do that? I don't know. It's like my ear. It's really ringing. Quite a bit. Well, it was. Now it's sort of muffled. Sure, it'll get better. See, like, a while ago it was my left ear. Now it's my right ear. It's even muffled. It's not that bad. Compared to the rest of this side. Because that was an illness. I don't know. Basically, <clears throat> basically how it's done. Just do it over and over. So you either until you run out of CDs, fall asleep. So I have something better to do. <clears throat> You just slammed me in the face, man. Out of nowhere. It was fucking insane. He's walking by. Weird. Weird as fuck.